These traditional and political leaders from Bayelsa State are here on a courtesy visit to Governor Similai Fubara at the River State Government House in Port Harcourt. The delegation, led by a former governor of Bayelsa State and current Senator Seriaki Dixon, includes notable figures such as the first military governor of Old River State and traditional ruler of Tuan Brass, Alfred Dete Spiff, as well as the chairman of the Bayelsa Council of Traditional Rulers, along with several other traditional rulers, former state and national assembly members, former commissioners, and other political leaders. The leader of the delegation says the visit is on two grounds, to call for an end to the political crisis in River State and seek an improved relationship between Bayelsa and River State that once existed as one state. The creation of Bayelsa State out of all River States was not and should not be made to see as if it's a severance of the relationship between our people. It is not a war of Jericho, of division, hatred, and acrimony between our people. But it's a move which, well utilized, will accelerate our development and national stake. Acknowledging the concern of his neighbors, Governor Fubara explains how much restraint he's exercised since the crisis began in the state. He acknowledges the contributions of his predecessor and minister of the FCT, Mr. Yesen Wike, to his emergence as governor, but promises not to worship any man. The young people, those group of men who claim that are assembly members, are not assembly members. They are not existing. I want it to be on record. I accepted that peace accord for, to give them a floating. That is the truth. There was nothing in that peace accord that is a constitutional issue. Is a political solution to a problem. I want you to see the sacrifice I've made in the course of allowing peace to be in our state. I can say here with all amount of boldness, I've never called any policeman anywhere to go and harass anybody. I've never gone anywhere to do anything against anybody. But what happens to people that are supporting me? They are being harassed, they are being detained, there is no week that somebody doesn't come here with one letter of invitation for Trump of charges and all those things. On the relationship between both states, Governor Fubara condemns the crisis that had existed before he became governor. We were separated because of political purposes to expand development, but we need to be united. <laughs> So that the economy of these two states will grow. There's no need for us to have any arguments over assets. There's no need for us to have any disagreement over issues of who owns this or who doesn't own that. One way or the other, we are even interrelated. That is the truth. It is expected that this visit and other efforts will help strengthen the bond of unity between the two states.